Remember, don't use any tools, equipment or components unless you've been formally shown by your teacher. Mandatory personal protective equipment for this task is to wear an apron or overall and to use eye protection. Depending on the materials used, your teacher may also advise you to wear other PPE. Occasionally, a scroll saw blade will break. The first thing to do is switch the machine off and isolate it at the power point. Next, loosen the tensioning handle so that the top arm is free to move. Make sure that you have alerted a technician or teacher so that they can get a replacement blade for you. With the arm loosened, you can now remove the front block. Do this by loosening the screw and then remove the part which holds the blade in place. Next, look towards the front of the machine and there will be a jig to hold the part in place. Use an allen key or wrench to undo the screw and carefully remove the saw blade. Next, look under the machine and remove the second part of the broken saw blade. This part is usually clipped in, so pull it out. Remove the broken blade as before, but this time leave the wedge in place. Now, put the replacement blade in the slot, make sure it's centred and tighten up the machine screw with your fingers before finishing it off with a wrench or allen key. Put the second block in the jig, turn the blade round, insert it into the block and tighten up as before. Next we'll need to make sure that we put the blade in the right way round. When following the next steps, make sure that the teeth of the blade are facing down towards the machine bed. With this in mind, slot the blade through the machine bed and place it into the arm. You may need to undo the thumb screw a little bit to fit the block in place. Make sure that the wedge is properly seated in the V groove in the arm. Push the arm down and push the second block into the mounting point at the bottom of the machine. A clip holds it in place so you may have to push quite hard. When the blade is seated properly at the top and bottom, tighten up the thumb screw and then you'll need to tension the blade. To do this, tighten the tensioning handle by turning it clockwise and then pluck the blade like a guitar string. As you pluck, continue to tighten until the pitch raises. When the pitch doesn't rise anymore, stop tightening. If you tighten the tension too much, then the blade will snap almost immediately on next use. Tighten too little and the blade can come unseated. Before switching the machine on, ask a technician or a teacher to check it over for you.